In this video, we will learn how to write a program for the algorithm selection sort. So let's start by defining the function. This function is going to take an array as its input and then sort the array and return the sorted array. I am taking an integer array as my example. And then I will sort the array and I am going to return the sorted array. So what does selection sort do? For every index in the array except the last one, it will fill that index with the correct element. So for every index but the last one, we want to fill the index with the correct element. Let's write a loop for this. I hope you remember that we are filling every element but the last one, every index but the last index with the correct element because we assume that if we fill in all the indexes but one with the correct element, automatically that last index will also be filled with its correct element. So that's why i is going from 0, which is the first element, all the way to the last but one element. So now what must we do? For each index we must check in the proper range which is the smallest element and then put the smallest element in that index. For example when we are trying to fill in the index 0 with the correct element we search the array from 0 all the way till the end for the smallest element and that element is going to be the correct element for index 0. When we try to fill in index 1 we will search the array from index 1 all the way till the end for the smallest element. That element will be the correct element for index 1. So let's see what we are going to do. We will have to write some code here which for each i we search for the smallest element in the range i all the way till the end And now, once we get the smallest ele element, let us store the index of the smallest element in a variable called min underscore index. So we have to write some kind of code here. And after we have done executing these lines, we should get the index of the smallest element found from i all the way till the end. So let us assume that after we write this patch of code, we are going to get a minimum index. So now this min index represents the index at which the correct element for index i is now placed. So now when we know the index of the smallest element, and we know that that smallest element should not be placed there, but instead be placed at i, what must we do? we have to swap the smallest element with the element we started our search with. So which element did we start our search with? We started our search with the element currently at i. Where does the smallest element exist? Smallest element exists in the index min underscore index. So what must we do? We must swap. So, we have to swap the element at i and 
the element at min index. So let's do this using a temporary variable. Let's say we defined int temp. So I'm going to swap these two. So I say temp is equal to array of i. Array of i is going to be equal to array of min index. And array of min index. is equal to temp. Once we have performed this swap, we want to do this kind of thing for every i. So let's close the loop. Once we have closed the loop and once this has occurred for all i, we can say that the array has been sorted. And after this, we can return the array. So this is what our code is supposed to do. We have almost finished writing the code. So let's see what comes in this patch of the code. For each i, we have to search for the smallest element from i till the end. So what we need to write is, we need to search in the range i till the end for the smallest element, store that index in min index. Let's write the code for that now. So to do this, let's create a variable min index. Now, before we start searching for the min index, let's just assume that the min index is going to be the first index of our search. The first index of our search is i. We are just going to assume this. Now we go from, from i plus 1 all the way till the end checking if our assumption that the minimum index is i is wrong. What we mean when our assumption is wrong is that we say that the first element with which we start our search is going to be the minimum element. Now. We start our search from i plus 1 to end and we check whether in reality does the first element actually be the smallest element or is there any other element which is smaller than that. If there is an element which is smaller than the first element of our search then we update the min index. So let's write the code for that. So where must we check that if our assumption is correct? We must check from i plus 1. So let's create a counter variable j. So we check from i plus 1 all the way until the end. Incrementing by 1 each time. So what must we check? We check if ARR of minimum index, if this happens to be greater than some ARR of J, that means that the minimum index which we have assumed is wrong because there exists an element which is less than that. In such a case, how must we update our minimum index? We say that the minimum index is not what we assumed it to be. Instead, we should give the minimum index to j. Since the element at j is going to be less than the element I thought was the minimum. So, we do this for all elements after the first element of our search. We keep checking whether there exists any other element which is smaller than our assumption. We do this from i plus 1 all the way till the end and then we come out of the loop. Once we have come out of the loop, min index stores the correct value 
of the index at which the smallest element can be found. Then we can continue with our program. This is how you write the code for selection sort.